The alleged main gunman in the killing of Ako Bicol Representative Rodel Batokabe apologizes to the grieving family. Henry Yuson says he just wanted to pursue a better life, promised by his boss, the Raga Mayor Carlwin Baldo. Baldo allegedly promised to pay the hit team 5 million pesos for Batokabe's lay, but he has only allegedly paid a total of 250,000 pesos. Police Chief Oscar Albayaldi says this triggered the fallout with Baldo. Meantime, the driver of the motorcycle used in the sleigh, Jaywin Babor, surrenders to authorities Friday. He is already in the custody of the PNP intelligence group. Two out of the six alleged Batokabe assassination team remain at large. Second gunman Rolando Arimado and gun purchaser Danilo Muella. A House panel is looking to the possible tax evasion and plunder charges against the in-laws of Budget Secretary Benjamin Jokno as it continues its investigation into the alleged anomalous transaction of the family's construction firm. House Majority Leader Rolando Andaya says several contractors supposedly being used as dummies by Arimar Construction reportedly gave him evidence that the firm got at least 50 million pesos from flood control projects in Bicol. On Thursday, the House Committee on Rules, led by Andaya, conducted a hearing on the alleged anomalies in the 2018 and the proposed 2019 budgets in Naga City. Andaya has been zeroing in on Diokno, whose son-in-law is an incorporator of the Sorsogon-based Arimar Construction. Andaya says in 2018, Arimar and City Leoncho entered into a joint venture agreement for five construction projects in the Bicol region, amounting to 550 million pesos. The lawyer of CT Leoncho owner, Consolacion Leoncho, earlier said they sealed their joint venture agreement with Arimar Construction without knowing that the latter had ties with Jokno. U.S. Democrats returned to power Thursday in the House of Representatives with veteran Nancy Pelosi at the helm. But they come face to face with legislative gridlock. In her opening speech, Pelosi vows the new Congress would be bipartisan and unifying, but acknowledges the reality of Washington's bitter divisions. We have no illusions that our work will be easy and that all of us in this chamber will always agree. But let each of us pledge that when we disagree, we respect each other and we respect the truth. After a historic opening session of the 116th Congress, in which Pelosi is elected as Speaker for the second time, lawmakers take aim at a bipartisan priority of ending an embarrassing partial government shutdown stretching into its 13th day. The House passed two measures that would reopen government agencies whose funding had lapsed, but provide no money for a border wall demanded by Donald Trump. Republican leaders immediately blast the vote as a pointless political gimmick. The Bureau of Immigration warns individuals of Filipino lineage there are limits to the so-called balikbayan or returning Filipino privilege. The BI released the statement after an incident at the Nino Aquino International Airport reportedly involving actor Tony Labrusca on January 3. In a now-deleted tweet, the actor wrote, Just landed in Manila and the Philippine immigration only gave me 30 days here. A report on PEP says Labrusca had an outburst after immigration officers stopped his passport for a 30-day stay only. Labrusca, whose parents are Filipinos, is an American passport holder. Filipinos who are no longer Filipino citizens get to enjoy Balikbayan privileges, but on certain conditions. In the case of Labrusca, he would have enjoyed a one-year visa-free privilege if he was traveling with a Filipino or a former Filipino. Labrusca has been working as an actor in the Philippines, his latest project being the provocative movie with Angel Aquino, Glorious. Popular music romance film A Star is Born is the overwhelming favorite for top honors in the upcoming Golden Globes. Even though Dick Cheney biopic Vice leads with six nominations, it looks likely that A Star is Born and its power duo of Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper will be the film poised to win on Sunday night or Monday morning in Manila. Gaga could be a double winner, with nods for both Best Drama Actress and Best Original Song for the film's mega-hit, Shallow. A Star is Born recounts the tale of an aging rocker who discovers a struggling singer-songwriter and propels her to stardom, all the while succumbing to hard drinking and his inner demons. It's the fourth Hollywood version of the story, which originally hit theaters in 1937. For Best Actor, Cooper is locked in a duel with Rami Malek, 
who portrays Queen frontman Freddie Mercury in the biopic Bohemian Rhapsody. Thank you.